It's racing time! Hello everyone, welcome back to more Motorsport Manager. I can't get enough of this. We're going into Tondela, like the 8th race. Engelhart, man, you need this. This is acceleration crucial, low speed corners crucial. I don't think we're going to do very well here. Then again, I said that last time. Engelhart's like, hold my drink, I'm going in. Rather, two times ago by now. You, you get my drift. Engelhart. I don't like to disappoint. He's a good man like that. He's a really good man like that. I appreciate him for it. You guys with the exact same stats. I'm gonna... Yeah. I was about to say, I'll give the better reliability to Angleheart. He's gonna need it. We'll keep the awesome suspension, you know. Because apparently it's doing lords of, loads of favorites, you know. I'm not gonna run the brakes. Mostly because they don't have any reliability. You know, kind of silly to run them if they don't have any. Like, is there anything we really need to improve anymore? I think, I guess we can go work on the suspension again. We're not going to be able to improve anything anyway further, though. Car's actually rated 6th right now, so we're doing good, you know? That suspension is like god tier, apparently. And the engine, oh, just, just wait until you see the engine we're planning to build at the end of the season. We're going to go for Transarctic again. They're going to make us rich again. Because <laughs> I like being rich. And Falco's like, dude, you did not take the good sponsor. Well, screw you. I'm going to finish second anyway. Falco just likes to un-up, one-up me. And I am totally okay with it because it just means good things for me. At this rate, he's going to win the driver championship in season two. If he keeps driving like that, we might get promoted if Eastwood Motorsport don't get their game together. Which they really should, let's be honest. There is no reason we should be able to beat them. But still, we'll be able to get a ton of sponsorship money now. And like, end of season money, because of uh, things being awesome. Why do you have two... Why do you have 20 feedback? Falco, listen to me. I also forgot to check. Um, we're on Tondela right now, alright? Yeah. I forgot to check how many laps there were. I think we'll be fine. We'll probably be able to make the... Uh, 20... Yeah, it's going to be like 27 laps or something, isn't it? That's the minimum. I could Google it, but meh. I'm going to trust on the fact that Super Soft are uh, a thing here, or just Soft. I'm going to have faith in the Soft. I'm going to have faith in the Yangleheart. You know. It's good. Engelhart literally does mean like the heart of an angel, so. He my man. If he can do it, no one can. I trust him. I trust him more than I trust myself, to be honest, at the helm here. That's saying not much. I'm not the most reliable man to have at the helm, I guess. No oh, well. Time to gather that sweet, sweet knowledge. There does seem to be a healthy mix between people choosing long-term tires, like the medium ones and the slicks. Fair enough. We're just out here to gather knowledge, not getting practice times in. Great, great, okay, that's a decent start. If we were to push you, like, back over there, would that help? Actually, probably not, let's be honest. It's gonna shrink. We'll try this. And uh, we'll try that for acceleration. Why not? Good, great, poor. Uh, yeah, just like show me the thing, please. Like, it's all flashy and I appreciate that, but at the same time I kind of don't. Yeah, let's push speed balance to top speed over there. That might help. I don't know. I just press buttons and hope they work. Go out and get back. That's fine. We'll be getting the knowledge while we do this, so not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Uh, tires are getting a bit hot. We changed the speed balance to what it was before. Oh, you don't like the speed balance. That's kind of bad. 
Excellent, good pour. Well, that's good. Find your your uh, your down for sweet spot at least. So acceleration down to here, more like. Handling needs to go a bit more to understeer. Maybe there. That'll probably do. Right, how about you? Great, great, very poor. Wow. Okay. Like, we screwed up massively, apparently, according to him. I ain't even mad. So, yeah, we're gonna chuck the uh, thing right over there, I think. That'll probably do. Then we'll fine-tune it a bit. You know, just get back quickly. That's all. Sergio Arbaloa is setting out all the best times again. He's a jerk. I don't like him. He's got that sweet, sweet car, you know, because of his super daddies. Uh, that's not a real racer. A real racer works his way up the ranks. From crap to... Not scrap. Okay, we we found Engelhardt's sweet spots, apparently. Cool. Roll with it. Good luck, buddy. You, however. Oof. I mean, you're getting... Wow. Yeah, we took you down to garbage, apparently. Let's see, is that going to be the sweet spot? That ought to be the sweet spot. You're a tough customer, dude. I don't know what to do with you. Like, we're just going to let Engelhardt race for a while. He'll bring himself back in eventually. But... Speaking of people like Gomez over here, yeah, you just need to hurry up and get back. You still have more fine-tuning to do. And this will actually let Engelhardt figure out how good we will be against Arbaloa. When we're not pushing our engines or anything like that. Because pushing our engines literally has no, no, no benefit to us except like getting us through the lap faster. Oh, that's better. 97. Oh, you tease. I'm gonna leave it at that. It's fine. Jons Dottier is the fastest lap now. Alright. Well, we'll be alright. We'll be alright. It's fine. Let's go look at Falco. He is uh, not doing very well. Yeah, two seconds above. Uh, still, came in seven. 2.3 seconds. There's a lot of people finishing higher with those uh, mediums. They might have like, they might have a reasonable shot at getting the top times if they actually brought like softs out. Oh well, we're still improving our own time now, so we'll probably get up to like fifth or whatever. Maybe a bit more. Ah, uh, we don't, we didn't wait. Oh yeah. End of the stint. Fair enough. We came in seventh with him. That's fine. Gomez fifteenth. Not very good. We've got one lap. I'm not gonna push it. I am gonna tell you to push the tires, however, Just because I'm kind of sick of those people driving in front of us. Like, just see if you can make anything happen. We're loving the handling. Well, good. Yeah, you should. We got this fine tuned and everything. 13th. That uh, seems about par for the course. Now all that's left. Winning the race. Loving your work, you make my weekends complete. Oh, thank you. Our blow was flipping amazing. Really? He is literally second. He's like. One person like, oh man, he did amazing. The other guy's like, ah, oh, you must, he must be so upset. Right, Falco. Look at me, Falco. You need to give me the money, Falco. I want that sweet, sweet money. I need it. I need to build engines. 
I need those sweet, sweet engines. 10 laps of fuel. We've got 20 laps... Uh, how many laps in total? 25. So our gamble did pay off. Yep, that's good. I'm gonna take 9 laps of fuel on Falco. And we'll have license to push him a bit harder. Which is now a thing I like to do, because, well... Like I've been showing you, it's been working surprisingly well. I'm actually not, I'm actually not gonna push Gomez that hard. Falco, however... Yeah, he needs to work through that pack over there. Quickly as well. First qualifying. Yeah, let's not push super hard right now, because we're not really near anyone. Is it going to tell you to hold? We'll take manual control of this. I say manual control. It's not like you're going to switch automatically or anything. Like we got into a nasty bump there with someone. Eh. Yeah. got pretty hairy there. Apparently. Right, now we're going to push it. Come on. Come on, Falco. Come on. Make that... Bar car purr. I'm gonna hold on again. As soon as we get to that straight. Now we're gonna push it. Come on, 16th. We need to get uh, further up. Uh, yeah, go slightly easy on the tires, I guess. Falco dueling for 15th right there. Come on, I'll give you the boost. It does work. We do manage to sneak inside. That's good. Now it's going to be harder for them to overtake us. There we go. Solid in 15th right there. Love it. Overtake. Does not quite work. Oh. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. Falco down to 17th. My lord. This duel is gruesome. Someone took damage there. Ooh, quite a bit as well. I don't know who, I don't know why, I don't know with whom. It's not my job to care, we're up to 13th now. 21 laps remaining. Alright. Tell them to stop pushing it a little bit. We're, we're up to 12. Good. Uh, that's all looking good still. Up to 10th, Falco! My man! Yeah. Alright, let's, uh... Conserve the tires a little bit. You're kind of like red zoning them right now. Still 10th, you know, still holding on. Uh, we'll conserve fuel a bit as well right now. Just because I have been pushing him rather hard. If we can save a bit, that would be great. If not, you know, it'll be fine. But trying to make something happen right now. Uh, maybe not the most productive. Oh man, those tires are just not wanting to cool down right now. Gomez all the way back in 16th right now. Uh, Bogotarov does go for an early pit stop there. Probably pushed her engine really hard. Even when backing up, we're almost able to overtake Jons the tier in 8. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to tell Gomez to save those tires. I'll tell like you to push it a little bit. Soft should have a barrier of like 15%, I think. Not 100% sure, I don't remember the exact figure. I'm gonna push it for one more lap though. Come on, Falco. Now you can do it. Come on, show your worth. Yeah, fourth. That's all gonna go away as soon as we pit though. Like, don't get me wrong. But it feels nice. Validation. Like, I'm gonna be surprised if everyone doesn't start pitting now. Yeah, you're gonna switch. Get me like. Nine laps of fuel. Ten laps of fuel. Go for the fast pit. I need Gomez to make it last for one more lap. Tires are working. Good. And go, buddy. We're, up, we're down to 15th right now. Elsa Dot still driving. Gerard as well. They're going to suffer for that, though. They're pushing their tires to the absolute limit. 
Gomez down to ninth right now. Falco already catching up on people now. Good stuff. We did manage to make your, your tires last. That's good. I'll grab like 10 units of fuel. Go for balanced. That's fine. Falco! You're gonna just go normal on those things. Ooh, great. That's nice. Up back to 11. That's good. We are fighting everyone with medium tires up front of us now. That's good. Just drive medium. You'll catch up eventually. They're one, gonna have to pit. Two, they're driving on inferior tires, so we should have our performance boost just work out there. It's fine, Englehart. Don't worry about it. Sometimes people pass you, it's fine. Doesn't mean you can't get back at them, though. Look at that, we're in 6th right now, dueling for 5th. A lot of people just went for a pit there. Yeah, everyone's driving on the mediums right now. That is going to be our secret to success here. We're dueling with 5th and 4th over here. We might be able to overtake both in the fell swoop here. Although, Claudia Dreyfus is trying to duel us. We do overtake both of them for 4th right there. Very nice. We are closing the gap with number one, slowly. Those tire temps are really bad. Yeah, I'm gonna have to conserve them a little. That's really bad. That's why everyone's driving on mediums. But I do feel like the speed is worth it. We are currently driving in fourth. We're closing the gap on Bogotarov. Or Borogatov. Bogaratov. There we go. Sabato is pretty much out of this match, interestingly enough. Jons Dottier and Arbeloa are fairly high though, so they're going to get a lot of points as well. Assuming they finish like that. Which they may, they may not. Let's push the engine on Falco a little bit higher. Because we are five seconds behind number one right now. Oh, oh, look at that lovely little inside overtake, followed by an outside overtake. Oh, lovely Falco. I love you, man. You are so good. He's just showing why. He's cooling down the engine. Uh, he's cooling down the tire as well while he's at it. Supposedly we had a team that struggles with the engine wear. Uh, the, the tire wear. Eh. I don't really see that. It's working out so well. We've caught up. 2.5 second gap to number one. It's just a matter of time. How about Gomez? Gomez is far behind. Everyone's driving on mediums now. Ooh, Falco just overtook into second right there. We just overtook Jons dot here. Ain't that a pain for them. <laughs> Bogarato is smelling it. It's like, oh yeah, oh, oh look, we're gonna have to pit. Yeah, you're gonna have to pit. Enjoy that. I'm just gonna let you pit. That's fine. I don't need to push you for that. Goodbye. Thanks for giving me pole position now. Like, Jon Satie is going to have to pit at some point as well. I'm going to run conserve now. Like, we can make the tires last. We can make everything last. It's going to be good! Falco might actually get his, like, trophy this time. We might break his curse. That'd be good. Like, we can keep Jon Satie behind us rather easily right now. Oh, we can keep going. She she still needs to pit one more. Yeah, she still needs to pit one more. So we'll be able to keep them behind us. I don't really care about Gomez. Sorry, Gomez. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Jon Sotir is going to pit. I mean, should I take that and go pit as well? Is Willis going to pit? Willis is going to pit. Elsa that's going to pit. Yeah, I'm heading in. Push the engine and <laughs> rush to the finish line. Man, it's a lot of fuel. I mean, we can still push the engine though, so yeah. Go for a fast pit. It's only nine seconds, assuming nothing goes wrong. I said it, now it's going to go wrong. Nope, all good. All right. We're going to have to push the engine a little. That's fine, we got a quick pit out of there, so that's good. We're down to fourth. Honestly, fourth is pretty good considering we lost four, uh, first there. 
burn it. Burn it. Come on. Yeah. I want I want my place back. Franz, Arbaloa. Bogorotov, I'm coming for you all. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Back in third. Back in third. Lovely stuff. Back in third. Gomez is going to be able to push like one more lap. We're back in... S did we just overtake them in the pit? I think we did, yeah. Awesome. We're back in pole position. We've got a nearly two, point, uh, two second lead right now. Eat my dust, girl! Ah, oh, hell yeah. Look at him. Look at him go. He's opening up the gap. It's nearly up to four seconds. I was nearly double the gap here. Andre Gomez down to seventh. He's currently uh, not planning to pit. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. I told him to pit. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Falco though, near. Yeah, he's five seconds ahead of Bogorotov now. We got this. Just you know, pray to the Omnisire that we don't get caught with the part. That would suck. Low risk. It shouldn't get caught. I swear to God, if it gets caught. I will be so mad. I will be so mad. Five laps remaining. Okay, we're gonna have to... No, no, suspension is fine. There's nothing wrong with the suspension. Shut up, Falco. Everything's okay. As long as you say it's okay. And I will keep telling you it's okay, because you need to stop pretending things are not okay. We've got Arbaloa on our tail. He's coming at us. Six seconds. That's fine. We got a gap on him. We've got the better tires. We have gained superiority here. He ain't gonna be able to do a thing. Push the overtake a little bit. There we go. Use it on the straights there. We got this. Just don't catch this GMA, I swear to god, if you do, I will be so salty. Yeah, we're catching our blower quite easily. Or rather, he's ain't he ain't never gonna catch us. <laughs> Gotta be careful with the engine pushing though. Like we've got a good lead right now, we need to keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna tell Gomez to overtake. Just push it, Gomez. With two laps left, uh, yeah, we're going to be able to push high without too much trouble. Gomez up in 13th. Number 12 has mechanical issues. We might be able to overtake them. Yep, there we go. Good. Good, good, good. Lord knows Falco would never forgive me. He is doing his celebratory lap of honor right now. Look at that face. That is the man who is excited to win. That is a man who deserves a pole position victory. That is a man who is pretty darn happy to be there right now. Ain't no way you're ever gonna catch us now. Push it. Push it, son. Just go. Yeah! Finally! Falco gets his victory. Gomez is able to get up to 11. Can we get a 10th? Can we get a 10th? No. We get close. But still, we got number one. We finished first with a gap of six seconds. Just don't catch the thing, please. That would suck. Boom. Boom. Well done, Falco. Well done. <laughs> I'm gonna save. That race was amazing. Holy crap. Oh, man. So good. Yay. <laughs> Suck on that, GMA. Ooh, Luigi Marchetta. Tut tut tut, sir. 
Also a drive through penalty for Andre Sabato, who did get the fastest lap, but it just didn't matter. Arbeloa is hot in our heels, though. Like, he and Jens Dottier got so many good points there. Yeah, Falco! Man, you, you must be so happy right now. Yeah, look at that. Arbeloa and Jons Dottier both are, like, right behind us. They're catching up. I don't think there's anything we're going to be able to do against that. Where did Hong Liao learn to drive? It's like watching me mum. Falco was silky smooth today. Off to the bookies to collect my winnings. Thank you, Derp Digital Racing and Falco. Awesome stuff, man. We got the win. We broke Falco's curse. Woohoo. And we paid him like nine grand on top of us. Like, yeah, here you go. Nine thousand, buddy. Thanks for bringing us that trophy. We came third overall. Yeah, the other teams are catching up. Other teams are catching up. It's fine. This kind of money making is exactly what I like to see. Yeah, tell me, what do we... Uh, we didn't pay them their bonus. Didn't pay you your bonus. Drivers. <laughs> we paid Falco. Nine grand. Like, yeah, here. A little tip. It's like 2% of his per race salary that we're paying him. It's like, yeah, here you go, but buy yourself an expensive ice cream. Uh, ask me a good question. That is not a good question. For the love of God. Hard fought win for Engelhart in Tondela. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, I'm delighted when I'm downing champagne. Because my boy be winning everything. We be getting money. We're, we're literally getting paid for this, you know. We'll be able to get ourselves another nice sponsor over there. Our job security is very secure. Obviously. What's that? Jons Dottier is looking for a way out of East Mo Motorsport. I mean, you're a pay driver, but you're you're also auditioning for films. Uh, you hate it there. Wow. What did they do to you? I mean, I think I know why. Because I'm trashing them. Wow. People be mad. Our design center is going to come in like two weeks. Sweet. Oh, yeah, we got the card. Uh, yeah, parts are done. We should be working on those, like the, the brakes. Anything else performance-wise? Like, we've got the good parts out of the way now. Yeah, let's just keep working on that, you know. I'll remove you. We'll work on, like... Yeah, we'll work on some of you your bits, like the terrible ones. Just get them a token bit of reliability. The focus bits are fine now. Yeah. Oh, designing engines finished. Oh, lovely. Good. Three offers. Uh, fourth or above, 800 grand. Not bad. Fifth or above, 800 grand, but no upfront fee. Uh, you pay. Yep. Straight up. You're the shortest one, together with one chai. You also pay 100 grand upfront. Uh, a one, a, a million upfront. Thanks. I like that. That's kind. Engine. Uh, it's literally like the same performance, it just needs a crap ton of improvement. So we're gonna design ourselves the super duper legal low engine. Uh, give me 40 to max. Give me plus 40. Give me plus 30. And plus 35. 361 performance engine. Ta da! Super duper illegal! Two days after the next race, after which we'll have like two races to just max it out. Yeah. Yoink. <laughs> we'll have a 400 performance engine next season. Still got 5 million spare. There's like three races left. Assuming we can finish second again, we're gonna get, we're gonna get another million. Although, I'm sad to say... 
Our deal with trans art clothing is not gonna be here for much longer. We have been milking that puppy for all it's worth. Oh my god. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm super happy. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to simulate races now. Fair enough. Go do that, and that's fine. Oh uh, yeah, let's go. Just out of curiosity. Right now, you're gonna take about 16 days, 2 hours. Now you're gonna need 14 days, 15 hours. I don't know if it made a difference, but we've got, like, the best design and best factory now on the grid. I can get 10 new buildings. We can get everything. I'm gonna build myself a tour center. It's gonna earn us like 73k per race, although it's probably gonna go up slightly. I don't know. Tour center. It's only 1.5 million. <laughs> it's only 1.5 million, you know. It's gonna start paying off next season, quite literally. It's, it's gonna help make this figure look more impressive. That's all that matters. Although we are now paying our staff more. Look, I'm just banking on the fact that we've got 1.2 million fans hidden somewhere. Oh, 1.1 million now. Boo! <laughs> Boo. I gotta know, who's still rooting for Archer BMR? Root for Dirt Digital Racing. We nearly got, you know. Falco has just been, like, up there the entire season. Like, again, we can literally finish last and we will still end above Arbaloa. Ain't no way we are not winning the driver championship. Team championship depends purely on Gomez, though. I think we're gonna miss that one. We'll end second. I swear to God, we're ending second. That's amazing. But yeah, I'll probably use my winnings to build, like... Not a helipad. Because we're not gonna get 100% marketability. No, I'm tempted to build, like, a handling development center or something like that. Or maybe a telemetry center. We need a better gearbox. And it will help our smoothness and consistency. Consistency means that our laps are just better overall, and smoothness means less tires breaking. Well, it's worth something. You know. And just the fact that we'll have ourselves a tour center soon will be nice. It will be very nice. Still got 12 days to go. Anything to work on in particular? Uh, maybe the other engine. Yeah, that'll be a good thing to work on. Like, can we churn it out quickly? Probably not. We'll get it like 2% reliability each day. It's gonna be like, nah, give it a bit more. It's probably not gonna beat out Andre's engine, which is fine. I don't intend for it to. You want to talk about the team's championship target? Excellent, yeah, of course. Milan, I like Milan. A lot of pressure is put on the brakes. Oh. I'm gonna be honest here, I might just consider like putting a crap ton of reliability in those brakes and then being like, oh, look, we don't have the illegal suspension anymore. We've got illegal brakes now. <laughs> I don't know, anything to get ahead, you know. Milan, it's it's where we do well. I don't know, I always liked Milan in this game. I always seem to do well there. Yo, dude. Still not, eh? Okay. You'd be such a good fit here, trust me. You would be such a good fit here, dude. We're Dutch and everything. <laughs> we got so close to the Asia Pacific League. Like, we're not going to be able to stop Eastwood racing, like, over stomping us at some point. You know, Jonstad's here. Been having a pretty good early game. Been having a pretty good late game now, but mid game was kind of trash. Meanwhile, Falco's just like, boop, 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 podium. Really, uh, really cool. Still got a security guard for some reason. But man, form 9.8. He did one. Finally. 
One win. Dude must be overjoyed right now. Although, yeah, you can tell his age is starting to impact stuff. His his improvement is going down. It's it, he's he's reaching his peak. I hope he can peach at like four stars. You know, get like one level of breaking X, or maybe one of cornering, maybe one of overtaken as well. Eh. Focus as well, probably. But aside from that, it's probably gonna be it. Falco, you're a good man. He did us really proud. Finally got us a win as well. He must be so happy right now. So yeah, let's go improve those brakes. Legal stuff. Best stuff. Factory feedback. Oi, piss off. No, I don't have 15 million in the budget. I can't magically poof money to upgrade the, fa the factory to level 3. What the shit are you on about, Falco? Oh yeah, I'm five points ahead of Arbaloa. I feel I can extend that lead this weekend. Why wouldn't I? Dude! You're 22 points ahead of him! You drunk! He must be drunk on all that champagne. <laughs> We're feeding him too much champagne on the podium. Oh well. Oh well. Keep a dreaming. Keep a dreaming, people. Yeah, we're gonna drop that suspension. We're gonna get ourselves the better brakes. We don't care about acceleration, apparently. Yeah, we still need to make a better gearbox as well. Like a super duper illegal one. That'll be fine. We've got the part development thing now. It's fine. Gearboxes are clearly lacking behind, but it's fine. You know. Just give me you. Please, like, you're 74% performance now, reliability now. Oh, right now it's literally in progress. Well, we're gonna fit that instead, because illegal suspension, eh, it worked for us, but it also didn't really work for us. I mean, it did good, like, it probably helped. Probably helped a fair margin, let's be honest. But right now we need brakes. Falco's like, dude, these parts are good, yeah. Mm. We'll give better brakes to Gomez, because why not? We'll run a bit of risk. It'll probably be fine. But that'll be it for this episode, with Falco stomping everything. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and perhaps a comment down below, as it really helps out the channel a lot. Like, I can't stress enough how helpful it is. And it also makes me feel happy. And I appreciate it. Subscribe, if you'd like to see more. And I will catch you all next time. Until then, have a good one, folks.